Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will have a look at Azure API apps. What is the introduction? Well, to take on, Azure offers developers the ability to build and host their APIs in the cloud. As mobile phone takes over PC sales, it has become more important for the developers to build and deploy REST API services, which both mobile phones and tablets can connect to. Azure App Services provides the pass environment to accomplish this, which is the Azure API apps. Now we'll have to create and deploy RESTful APIs in seconds as powerful as you as powerful as you need them. So this is the convenience that Azure API is giving us. You can leverage your existing tools to create and deploy RESTful APIs without the hassle of managing infrastructure. Microsoft Azure App Service API apps offers secure and flexible development, deployment, and scaling options for any sized RESTful API application. Use frameworks and templates to create RESTful APIs in seconds. Choose from source control options like TFS, GitHub, and Bitbucket. Use any tool or OS to develop your RESTful API with .NET, Java, PHP, Node.js, or Python. It is the fastest way to build for the cloud, provision and deploy fast, simple access control and authentication, secure platform that scales automatically, great experience for Visual Studio developers with automatic SDK generation, open and flexible for everyone, monitor, alert and auto scale are in preview. Why use APIs? If you need a scalable, secure platform to build your APIs, then Azure API apps will meet the requirements. We can develop the APIs using multiple languages like Python, C Sharp, or even PHP. We can select from a selection of web frameworks such as Node.js, ASP.NET, Web API, and more. If we develop using Visual Studio, we get integration through project templates and deployment wizards. Azure API apps can also be used for integration scenarios to leverage workflows using Azure Logic Apps. Shared Core Features Azure API apps are hosted using Azure App Service Offering. This means that they share common features that are offered for web apps, which includes auto-scaling, deployment slots, authentication, and host the API apps in an app hosting plan. It can be free, shared, basic, standard, premium to suit the workload. Documenting your API using Swagger. Swagger is an API documentation framework. With Swagger API, developers can build documentation using metadata. If you are building an Azure API app in Visual Studio, then the API app project template will add the Swagger NuGet reference to the project. Once you deploy your API app to Azure, you can access the Swagger UI using the URL, your domain name slash Swagger. Continuous integration and deployment. Azure API apps also supports continuous deployment from your source control system. You can then use Azure App Service deployment slots to deploy the changes to a staging area. This allows developers to pre-qualify changes before they are promoted to production. Authentication. If you wish to federate the authentication, then API apps can be configured to use the following as identity providers. We can use Google, Azure AD, Facebook, Twitter, Microsoft, and by default, the API app will be configured with no authentication method. Azure AD allows you to use OAuth to protect the API. And that's it. This is the end of the slide. So we covered a good theoretical section of Azure API apps. We'll cover more for this exam series 203, Developing for Azure Solutions. Please do not forget to catch up with me in the next video. Thank you. Have a great day.